Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching and welcome to update number five on the HC6 build project, or what I like to call the Behemoth project. Now, I had some time over the week to work on the body shell, getting it prepped, ready for painting, and I got it done, and it looks sweet, my friends. I think you're really gonna like the color scheme that I chose for the vehicle. Now, usually, a lot of people tend to stick with the traditional military colors, you know, the green, the brown, the camouflage, the desert sand color, Color. I wanted to do something different because that's me I like to be different so I came up with a really cool color scheme uh, of, of gray and a black and I think this really made the body pop out a lot more because there's a lot of detail in the body shell on the cab the bed and uh, so I think with this light color that I did it really makes all that detail pop out so let's go ahead and take a look at the body shell and what I did all right so here it is, my friends, all painted up and done. The vehicle is 98% done. I still have to install the lights and the sound module that I want to put in it, but that's uh, further on in the build here. Uh, I really want to get it out, test it out, see how it's going to do, if I need to adjust any links or you know, steering wise throttle. I want to you know, see what the battery life is on it and all that stuff. But it looks, just looks so great, my friends. Now, this, uh, the body has been painted in a primer gray, and I went back with some satin black and colored in a few things that I wanted to do, and after satin black, I did a matte clear over it to really dull down the finish a little bit and make it look like this truck has been, uh, you know, been, you know, been around for a while. But it turned out phenomenal. Uh, I can't take full credit for the paint job. My dad actually... Uh, painted the body if you guys know my dad's been helping me on day one on this build and he did a awesome job at laying down the paint and everything uh, there's no runs everything looks great and I'm really digging this color because like I said uh, with this light of gray it brought out a lot of detail in the body uh, so with the bed the cab the body lines it really made this thing look so much sweeter uh, it's just you know, great. So let me grab the camera off the tripod and take a closer look at this thing because I got a lot of scale detail, which um, I'm still going to add some scale stuff to it. It's just you know, right now I'm just kind of working on that. So down the road I'll be adding a lot more stuff to it. So let me grab the camera off the tripods. So excuse me. All right. So let's take a look at it. Now, as you see. You got Behemoth right there. I did go back and stick it up a little bit. Not too much because I'm not into doing so much uh, stickering up. But this one I had to do. Let me get up here so we can take a look at it. So the Behemoth. Now if you don't know what Behemoth means, it means a large monster or, or creature. And this thing is large. It is a monster. So I thought Behemoth, that's a good name. So take a look up here. All the scale detail, the mirrors, the windshield wipers, the smokestack there. Now, look inside the interior, my friends. If you guys know who these are, then you know. These are characters from the new Call of Duty. And uh, I found these at Best Buy, and I was like, you know what? This will work great in the truck. And look at that. Really awesome. And uh, as you see, fully... <laughs> You know, we've got uh, the interior with fully ammunition there, guns and stuff like that in there. These drivers worked out very well. I did have to cut them in half to get them into it. So, uh, <laughs> oh well, sacrifice you have to make for skilled drivers. Uh, I come back here to the bed, as you can see, all the little detail in the bed. And uh, this thing was not easy to put together because you had to put all this together. It doesn't come put together you have to do it yourself glue it and everything so that was a process the only thing that did not have to put together was the cab that came already molded but I had to add the front bumper the grill and stuff like that let's go back here to the back this box right here is for the battery to go come here to the back let's see if we turn it around oh things heavy Coming to the back, I got some more stickers there. Behemoth on the back. I uh, got some uh, army stickers there. I won't be that Sunday driver. <laughs> and then I got another one that says, Sexy Ladies Only. There we go. 
but it looks so great my friends I mean wow I, I'm just really still blown away with how well this truck came out oh good lord it is heavy trying to do this one-handed <laughs> while holding the camera not easy on this truck but look at this we got the breather here and I actually added that chrome cap on there just to kind of uh, add a little detail to it but it looks so great my friends I'm very happy with it uh, back here in the bed I did actually uh, hand paint this right here in a matte black so kind of break it down instead of doing all satin black here I just did a matte black which turned out great uh, yeah so <laughs> it's just amazing this looks so good let's get a closer view all that detail in the body off-road <laughs> look from stickers turbo diesel yeah that's what it is you know get another side view of the interior and the guys there I think that's soap from Call of Duty and the other guy I'm not exactly sure but he is cool looking so yeah so that is it my friends all right so that is the HC6 build right now it is turning out great and uh, like I said all I'm all, all I'm lacking is in finishing installing the lights and the sound module that I got which I'll be doing a video on that here very soon uh, the sound module it's really cool and uh, try to adapt it in the truck I have to think of a few ways to actually do this to get it in the truck and have it functioning and working and all that stuff so that's another thing that I have to think about so uh, once I do think about it you know of course I would do a video on it and show you that sound kit and install it in the truck and everything so yeah all right my friends so that is it for this video this is like I said update number five so probably be another update on the sound unit and then get out and actually do a really cool video for it so uh yeah all right my friends so thanks for watching please like this video subscribe to my channel if you have not definitely want to do that to keep updated on all the stuff that i'm doing i got some more videos that i think some of y'all really gonna like uh especially one with my scx 10 2 that i caught on camera falling 30 feet or so out of a tree <laughs> nothing broke but you'll see uh, that video once I get it uploaded alright my friends so thanks again for watching and I will see y'all like always later <laughs>